Assalamualaikum, hello beautiful family How are you all today? Hope you are all okay Welcome back to my channel This is Yasmi in the PNF world And today's video guys, I am going to show you How to make the chicken uh, bread rolls uh, So the ingredients here Is the mashed potatoes and chicken shredded And then I will mix here The um, carrot and cabbage uh, Grated as well And then um, I am going to add A uh, chili flakes and then black pepper and then salt so this is the black pepper and then the salt and then I am going to mix all together a proper way because of this uh, potato in it so like this and then I am going to take some few breads this recipe guys is very uh, easy and uh, um, today I am going to only use the eggs, uh, not breadcrumbs, because the breadcrumbs is uh, uh, very uh, crunchy and uh, when you fry it, it's, the oil is going to uh, dirty always. So, and then here guys, I am going to remove all those sides uh, because they are hard, so it's not easy to flat them. And uh, so here you go, I am going to flat them with the uh, rolling pins not too much uh, hard to do it uh, just to flat them a little bit and then now I, I am going to put the peeling and then um, when you roll it just only one roll and the second roll and then uh, I am going to put this um, white flour with the water in all sides so that they will stick so that when you fry them the filling will not come out just like this yeah they're not gonna come out now because uh, of this uh, flour and water to close it so I am going to make some more of this not too much because we only um, six of us so uh, this is a big pieces so no one can eat two two so maybe um, everyone can eat only one so I am just going to make few of them so here it is I just make some few of them and then I will cover this and put them in a side not the freezer one because I don't want them to be really really cold so the rest of it guys is I am going to put inside the box and put them inside the bread so that the next day I can use them again so it's very easy recipe guys just the uh, mashed potatoes uh, and shredded chicken and then the grated carrot and cabbage black pepper and salt and then the chili flakes that's all and mix them all together so as you can see guys here i put them in a the box and then i will put them inside the fridge for the next day so the next one i am going to do it uh, is the uh, chicken korma guys um i am going to make a little bit for a uh, seri um, so now I am cutting the uh, three medium size of uh, onion and then I am going to fry them for until a little light brown so uh, let's wait until the onion will be brown so this uh, chicken coma is also uh, my own uh, uh, recipe uh, so many people cooking in different ways but for me I am not going to use any nuts because I am allergic of nuts so today I will just cook a simple korma so um, the uh, onion is already light brown guys so I will remove from the oil and then uh, I will put this um, onion to the blender so, uh, so this is the blender guys, I will add here a um, 3 tablespoon of yogurt and then uh, the onion that I fried and then uh, the okorma masala, just one table tablespoon and then I am adding here as well tomato paste because I don't want to use any fresh tomatoes because the one I had is very sour and then the onion that I fried and then a little bit of water here guys and then I am going to add a uh, salt and um, 
turmeric powder just a half teaspoon and then half teaspoon of chili powder and then half one teaspoon of salt so um, this all the um, ingredients guys is very simple and then I am going to blend this one until uh, it will uh, looks like um, a paste like that so in oil I am going to add here the uh, ginger and garlic paste is uh, about one tablespoon so uh, then uh, a little bit fry and then I will add here the chicken and then um, the chicken is uh, part of the uh, leg chicken which is I cut them in small pieces so um, I will fry this until the chicken will be golden like until the uh, color will be changed uh, so that uh, the chicken will absorb all those uh, ginger and garlic paste and um, so that they are more good uh, taste and uh, the smell will go away um, so um, I will just fry this and leave it for a few minutes guys so while I'm waiting, the chicken will be uh, cooked and brown. Uh, this is the lamb chops, which is I already marinated them uh, a night ago. And um, I forget to uh, do the video of this, but then I will tell you it's a uh, masala I did uh, add to these lamb chops. I just add them uh, um, some uh, lamb chops uh, spicy salt and uh, black peppers that's all and then i marinated them for uh, the whole night and then so i am doing this guys uh, to make the uh, lamb chops and easy to cook like you know uh, because i am going to fry them i am not going to put them in the oven um because this is the uh, uh food that my kids favorite uh at these days so um to make it sure that this will be cooked very very quick so i am doing this and then i will um, just put it in the plastic and put them aside again and then uh, when uh, it's time to do fry then i will fry them before iftar so we are going back to the uh, chicken guys i am checking if is the chicken is okay now to um, add the uh, paste that i made uh, I think it's not yet so uh, here I am going to add some um, piece of bay leaves guys and uh, the uh, green cardamom to make more the smell so good guys if you put this just not too much just a few of green cardamoms and I will leave it for a few minutes again Um, so uh, some orange guys I uh, also fill it and then um, I make them in pieces uh, instead the uh, fruit chat today but I am not going to make the fruit chat I just eat this orange and everyone loves it so they can have edge of it instead of fruit chat so um, I will make again fruit chat tomorrow so uh, just the orange today So guys, um, I forget to uh, on the camera when I was putting the uh, um, paste that I made for this uh, chicken korma. So as you can see guys, um, I already add in. So uh, now I am going to uh, cook this for another 20 minutes in slow heat. Um, so I will cover now and then I will come back for it after 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes guys here you go I can see the oil on the uh, top of the curry uh, that means is the chicken is ready and all the gravies and spices are all ready so in this situation guys I am going to add a little bit of uh, um, cream um, so that the gravy will be more uh, creamy 
and as you can see guys it looks so yummy so i am not going to cook now i just leave it for a few minutes and then i will cover it and um that's it it's the chicken korma is ready guys it's very simple recipe for me um just in different way how i cook um but it's really really delicious so this is for our series today and so now this is alishba alishba's uh prefer to make as well today uh with the chocolate lots of chocolate in it she got some few of bananas and few of uh, strawberries and then she melted the um, chocolate with um, milk and then she's uh, pouring it on the um, bits of sorry uh, fruits so now guys i am now frying the um, bread chicken roll as uh, chicken bread roll um it is really really nice guys i just use here the eggs and then fry it and then i am going to just uh, leave it for a few minutes this guy is until brown so uh, now it's ready and uh, it looks so nice uh it might be more nice if i use breadcrumbs but i don't use breadcrumbs just the eggs and then uh, some of uh, potato samosas as well um, just few of it uh, because there's too much potatoes today uh, since when it start ramadan and then so now guys this is the uh, chicken bread rolls that i made uh, i cut one of it and you can see and then the uh, samosas here guys uh, the food is all ready as well and then now i am frying the lamb chops um it's not too much oil here guys just a bit oil just to uh, fry a bit the lamb chops so i will cook these lamb chops just uh, i think three minutes in both sides or four minutes it depends because uh, i already um what they call beat it the meat so that it will cook very easily so it's just three minutes both sides guys as you can see now it's ready it's very quick because they are thin uh, very very thin slice uh, they're not uh, uh, um, fat slice so um, now guys after this uh, this is the last one I am going to prepare and the food will be ready so uh, before we are going to end up uh, this video guys i just want to tell you that if you are new here um, please don't forget to like share and comment and consider to subscribe this channel and then um, thank you thank you very much to all uh, who's always coming back to watch my videos and to all the silent viewers uh, my uh, subscribers and to all of you guys we appreciate your support thank you thank you very much for watching and i uh, hope to see you again to the next one and then uh, so guys uh, that's all for today and then um ramadan mubarak to all brothers and sisters and to all uh, muslim all over the world thank you thank you very much guys and uh, ramadan mubarak to everyone and so okay guys uh that's all for today and i will see you again to the next one thank you for watching bye allah hafiz